In our morning round, sleep apnea, some 18 million Americans suffer from the disorder. Many have trouble with the usual treatment wearing a special mask in bed. If it's not treated, sleep apnea can be deadly. But a study out this morning in the New England Journal of Medicine finds that a new device implanted under the skin could be a real alternative and help. Dr. Carol Ash is director of sleep medicine at Meridian Health in New Jersey. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Good morning, Nora. Before we get to this new treatment, what is sleep apnea? Well, essentially, when we go to sleep at night, and this is true of all of us, you lose tone in the muscles in the throat, and the airway starts to narrow. Most of us continue to breathe normally. But with people with sleep apnea, when they lose that normal muscle tone, the airway collapses all the way down. That's an apnea, so airflow is compromised. You can't get oxygen in. And there's many reasons for that. And each person, the reason that their airway becomes more compromised is different for each person. And this CPAP is one of the devices we use to treat So it. this is common. Many people have sleep apnea sleep with an oxygen mask on them. Yes, believe it or not, it's actually not oxygen because as long as we can get the airway open, there's enough oxygen in the air that you're breathing. This is an air splint. It blows air into the back of the throat and splints the airway open so it can't collapse. And and it comes from that big black this box is, there. Yes, this is the flow generator, Charlie, exactly. And there's different types of masks. But you could see, you know, we were teasing you a bit. It's not necessarily the most attractive looking thing. But if you have, you'd still look handsome, I'm sure. But if you have obstructive sleep apnea, it can be life saving. Yeah. Really so that's can. what most people are using. But now there may be this new treatment, according to. Um, the, New England Journal. the New England Journal of Medicine. What is that new treatment? You know, Nora, I am so excited about this new device. What it is, it's a pulse generator. It senses your effort to breathe. So it senses that you're trying to take a breath, and it sends a pulse stimulation to the hypoglossal nerve, the nerve in the neck that controls those muscles that keep the airway open and stimulates them so the airway doesn't collapse. But this requires a two hour medical procedure, surgical procedure. Yeah, so obviously anytime we're doing surgery, there's risks, there's complications such as infection, bleeding, you know, in time you'd have to change the battery. But nor for people that cannot use this or can't tolerate it, it will make all the difference. And one of the big things that happens too with patients when they go for procedures, when they go to the OR and they get sedatives, they're at greater risk. Look at that 13 year old. That was a yeah. catastrophic known outcome of sleep apnea. This can't, I'm sorry, go ahead. And if you had an implantable device like that that would just respond to your needs, you'd be less likely to have those types of So episodes. this came from the New England Journal of Medicine. I mean, is this available today? It's still in the investigational stages, and it depends how quickly the FDA would, would work to approve it, but it's one of the things that I'm excited is going to be another tool in the toolbox to really address this issue. And it's when you look at sleep disorders and how we're not getting enough sleep, this is the biggest public health issue facing society today. And sleep is incredibly important. It is. For lots of reasons. Thank you, Dr. Carol Ash.